new project is to create some rails on these steps right here. It's gonna be too hard, but it's gonna be a little different because I have to actually screw the posts to these brick right here for the driveways here. Now I had to break up concrete and all types of stuff that's there. Hopefully that's sturdy enough. Then over here, I'm gonna dig down and put two posts in here. This concrete here, I'm gonna see if I can break it away because it looks like it's gravel and dirt, but we're gonna see. If not, I'm gonna do the same thing do on that side at all the material let's get it so i started off by taking this dirt away in the gravel that was down there away from off the brick and start making my post holes start using that concrete bar to break up some of that clay dirt it can get real stiff and hard to get up out of there chasing after paper trying to redirect the way i'll just make my own while y'all trying to follow away now it's time to pour the concrete. You see that my concrete is inside these black garbage bags. These actually was discounted bags from Home Depot because the ones that bust in the store, they put them in garbage bags and they give it to you for a discount. So definitely grabbed a nice handful of these and was able to complete the job with them. And like I always do, I like to bring that concrete all the way up to the top so it can be above the dirt and prevent rock. Make my own wave like a boat that's in the ocean. Get to by the tide, but you gotta stay focused. Losing the track of time, I'll leave yeah, wide open. Yeah. So after playing with the different options with this side, I decided to clean out this vegetation that was right here and realized that with the asphalt, it was pretty weak. So what I did was just took my breaker bar and broke down that whole side right there and was able to get to dirt. So it wasn't actually concrete underneath that asphalt, which was really good and was able to dig that hole down and put the post in the original way. Um, before I was gonna try to attach that four by four to the brick steps, but as you can see, there's plenty of cracks in it and I'm pretty sure it wasn't that sturdy. So doing this option was way better in that that's why I actually broke up pretty good. I'll just make my own while y'all trying to follow away. Betty make her scream when them dreams ain't far away. Think she in a dream and you can see it on her face. Seen that money stream, now baby, that's my type of way. See, I broke out that whole section right there. So now I'm able to actually run concrete all the way down to the holes, up and out and over from post to post. So of course that'd be way stronger that way. So with these here, I decided to do something a little different. Instead of buying a two by four and splitting them down the middle, I went ahead and just bought the pre-cut spindles and that was way quicker. I didn't have to deal with finding a plug, getting the plug from the customer. It was way simple this way. Even though it's a little bit more bread, but hey, I think it comes out to be the same amount at the end of the day. So we finished up the rails. Now they want us to knock these down here and put up some wheelbars here. So that's what we about to do. Chop these off at the bottom here. Run my board over to here, put a two by four here, two by four here, two by four here. And then we're gonna put the balusters right in the middle. Let's get it. See down here, we got this knocked out of the concrete. I just chopped off that whole block right there and just poured all the concrete over here. So put the sawdust in it, but it's cool, but that's gonna be nice and sturdy. Even for when they eventually replace the driveway, they just pour concrete right to this point. So these boys gonna be here for a long time.